Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining me for today's chair yoga session. We will begin, we're going to do a full body stretch today, so we're going to do head, neck, shoulders, all the way down, down to the feet, the toes. So we're going to sit up nice and tall. Remember, come slightly to the edge of your chair, so you're not leaning back, so that your, your sit bones are making contact with them with the seat of the chair and you're sitting up nice and tall. We always start with a couple of nice deep breaths. We'll inhale those arms up, they can go really slowly. Big stretch, exhale down. And again, inhale up. And exhale down. shrug or just roll those shoulders just a little bit if that's comfortable place your hands on your knees looking straight ahead we're just gonna take our right ear down towards our right shoulder just gently and then lift it up and left side a little gentle stretch in that neck as you do push that shoulder down that's it and up and now turn your head to the right and forward and to the left and forward. Look down and forward and gently look up and forward. Okay, let's loosen up the shoulders. Bring the hands together in front of you, clasp them together, inhale them above your head, keep those elbows close to your ears, just check that you haven't leaned back in your chair, sit up nice and tall, bend those arms and keep those elbows close to your ears, that's it, keep breathing, inhale up, palms facing out, exhale, Goddess arm, so draw your shoulder blades together. Feel that stretch across your chest, that's it. So you can feel those shoulder blades drawing towards each other. And now bring your elbows and your palms together. So we've done a full range of movements for the shoulders. And release, remember not to hold your breath. So we've done the neck, the shoulders, let's warm up the arms. So stretch them out to the sides. So we'll just do our palm flips. So just Moving those arms back and forth, we're getting the blood flowing. That's it. Lovely. Okay, bring the fingers together, palms are facing down, stretching all the way up to the shoulders. And then push those walls away either side. So fingers are tightly together and you're pushing away so you feel a stretch along the bottom of your arms. And then bring your palms flat again, so they're facing down and then bring them in. So now you'll get a stretch along the top of your arms and down, and then bring them forward. It's my favorite bit, give yourself a cuddle. Grab those shoulders, let your head hang down. Take a nice deep breath here. Love yourself for showing up and doing this practice today. Nice stretch in your upper back and shoulders and, and your neck. Gently lift your head and inhale those arms open. Big stretch in between and then the other arm on top. Give yourself another cuddle. So you're doing both sides, relax your head. Remember not to hold your breath. And lift your head and inhale those arms open and down. And again, hopefully those shoulders are nice and loose now we've stretched out the arms and the shoulders. So we're gonna do a spinal twist now. We're gonna work our way down the body. So inhale those arms up. Take that right arm behind, so behind your chair. You can either grab the back of the seat or the back of that part. Place your left hand on your right knee, side of your thigh, and just use the back of your chair to just twist and look over your right shoulder. So you're opening your chest and the spinal twist. 
When you twist the torso, you are massaging your internal organs and it's so wonderful. Not only is it wonderful for your back, but it's wonderful for your digestion and really is good. Okay, so slowly release. Inhale the arms up. Big stretch in between, bring that right hand down and take that left hand behind or grab the back of the chair. And just look over your left shoulder. Lovely stretch. And release back to the front. Okay, keeping those feet out in front, we're going to do a forward bend. Inhale up. So palms facing forward and we're going to fold from the hips. So you're coming forward with a flat back. So imagine those hands are sort of pulling you forward. Don't fall off your chair, obviously. And just bringing your chest down towards your thighs. Grab your feet, your ankles or wherever is good to you. You can just rest them on your knees if you wish. Try and relax your head. So as you tuck your chin, you can feel that stretch all the way down at the back of your, your spine and, and your neck. When you tuck your chin, it kind of increases it. It's a lovely stretch. And then use your hands and knees. Just lift yourself up, but inhale as you come up. Exhale back. Okay, we'll just do a couple of cat cows. So hands on your knees. We're going to tuck the chin and round the back. So a nice little bend in the upper back. And then we're going to inhale up to cow. Take those shoulders back, lift your head. Exhale into cat. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Inhale to cow. And then gently lower your head and coming back, just sitting up nice and tall. And we're going to do some work on opening the hips. So take those feet as wide as you can using your, your chair and sit, sitting up nice and tall, turning those feet out, opening up the hips. Inhale your arms up. So big stretch here, nice straight back, and then bring that right forearm down onto your thigh and take that left arm alongside your ear. So opening your chest, remember, don't let that arm come forward, keep it back so that it's all in alignment. So your hip, shoulder, elbow and wrist are all in line. Remember to breathe. And then slowly coming back up, take a nice big breath in, inhale up. And then exhale, we'll do the other side. So again, rolling that right shoulder back. Remember, just lean over as far as feels comfortable for you. Never strain. That's it. And slowly coming back. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to bring those feet out in front. We're going to do the like a pigeon or a figure four pose. So you're going to bring that, that right knee up and hug it in. So make sure that you haven't rounded your back. Sit up nice and tall. And if you're able to, put that foot, that right foot on top of your knee. Now, if you find this difficult, you can grab a block and just bring your foot up. You're opening out that, that inner thigh and hip by doing this. So if you can do that, that's wonderful. If not, adapt it and put use a block. Sitting up nice and tall. We're just going to let gently lean forward, as I say, lently lean forward, gently lean forward, and just a little bit of pressure on that knee, not too much, just a little bit. You'll, you'll be able to feel the stretch in the hip and what feels good to you. So remember, it shouldn't hurt. A little bit of discomfort, but not pain. That's it and slowly coming back and gently lower that leg down and just give the thigh a rub that's it and then we'll do the other side so we're going to hug that left knee grab it up hug it in don't round your back 
place that foot on the opposite knee to hold in that foot. A little bit of pressure on that left knee. Lift up nice and tall and just lean forward a little bit. That's it. Always listen to your body. Remember to smile through your practice. You're doing the most wonderful thing you can for yourself. You really are. And inhale back. Release. And again, those thighs are up. And we're going to sit back on our chair because we're going to do a warrior. So opening those legs wide again, we're going <clears> to <throat> take that back foot, that left foot back as far as we can. And that, the crook of that right knee can come against the edge of the chair and then turn that left foot out to face the front. So the foot is flat on the floor. You can have it closer. So obviously listen to your body, but you've got the support of the chair for this. So stretching those arms out. This is exactly the same as we do warrior when we're standing, but you're just being supported by the chair. So you're getting all the benefits of warrior too. So a big stretch here. And we're just gonna do reverse warrior. So big breath in. And exhale, we're going to let that back hand slide down the back leg and just take that front hand up. So you're getting a nice side body stretch. But again, don't overstretch, listen to your body. And then inhale all the way back to warrior two, stretching those arms. And then into side angle. So place that front forearm on top of your thigh and your left arm alongside your ear. A bit like we did when we did the squat the knees open. Nice side body stretch, inhale back. So back to your warrior two, lower your hands, shift yourself back to the centre of your chair and we'll come to the other side. So crook of the knee against the chair, back foot, right foot, take it all the way back and then flat on the floor, get it facing forward and your hips want to turn that way but Stretch and look down your hand to your fingers. Big stretch across the chest. Nice deep breaths. Okay, big breath in. Exhale, reverse warrior back hand down, left hand up and look up. That's it. Keep breathing, keep smiling. <laughs> Inhale back. Warrior two. Okay, side angle, front forearm on top of your thigh, right arm alongside your ear. Remember to roll the shoulder back, opening the chest, keeping everything aligned. Imagine, picture your ankle, your knee, your hip, your shoulder, your elbow, and your wrist all in line, this one big straight line. Inhale back to your warrior. Warrior two. And lower down. Okay, coming back to your chair. And we're just going to finish with a little bit of a stretch for the legs. So, come a bit further forward on your chair and straighten that right leg. Engage the thigh, you'll feel a little stretch in the back of it. So this is a hamstring stretch. And keeping your hands on your left knee, just fold forward as you do. Imagine bringing those toes up and you'll feel an, a much more intense stretch. That's hamstring stretch. So just folding forward. Keep breathing. And then lower down and we're going to switch sides. So left leg out, straighten the leg, engage the thigh, toes up. Big breath in, and then just, so as you come down, so you're gently leaning forward, toes are coming up. Big stretch the leg. And release. Okay, let's do a little bit of the feet. So we'll do some heel raises. So just up and down. Nothing complicated, just getting those feet moving. 
Se. And now we'll come out a little bit more and we'll do the other way. So we're going to lift the toes. They won't come up too high, but just lower them down and lift. So those little bones and muscles in the tops of your feet. That's it. It's a small movement, but it's a, it's a very, very important one because obviously our feet are very important, obviously walking and keeping our balance, so we need to keep them strong. Keep going. Just, just do one more. Lift those toes. So that's a very tiny movement. And release. And we're going to finish with good old ankle circles. So, stretching out, you hold on to your chair, stretch that right foot out, point the toe and just do some circles. And then back the other way. Okay, other side, left foot out, point the toe, away you go. And back the other way. And release. Okay, sit back on your chair because we're just going to take a nice deep breath here. Sitting up nice and tall. You can relax back in your chair. We'll take a nice deep breath in. Bring those palms together. Exhale through your mouth as you bring your hands down to your heart. And namaste. And there we are. So that was a full body stretch using the chair. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you feel good. Please don't forget to let me know what you thought of this practice, full body stretch. And uh, le yeah, leave me a comment. Don't forget to share it with somebody <laughs> that you think might benefit. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks for practicing with me today. Hope to see you again here tomorrow. Take care. Bye.